Okay, so the question is, is the Kurankula nuclear power plant safe or not? Experts have given the project a clean shit. Anti-nuclear plant groups are not convinced and also not protesting near the plant. So just how safe is Kurankulam then? Headlines today's correspondent Priyambada gets us this exclusive access to the controversial power plant. Even as the anti-nukes protest heat up. <laughs> work at the Kuran Kulam nuclear power plant has been accelerated. Headlines today got an exclusive entry inside the power plant. We bring to you visuals of the plant which have never been seen before. There are questions, fear and protest against the Kuran Kulam nuclear power project. While the state and central government's expert panels have given a clean shit to the project, there are doubts still in the minds of the people. Headlines today is here at the site to find out the truth for ourselves. 10,000 megawatts of power will be generated at this nuclear power plant. An energy deficient nation watches silently as protests become shriller by the day. Fukushima horror alarms the villagers here. This is Gulf of Manat. The greatest fear that the protesters and people have is what if there is a tsunami? The sea water could raise above and affect the reactors out there like it happened in Fukushima. You can see the reactors out there. This is reactor 1 and the other that is reactor 2. These are the two crucial reactors at the Kudankulam nuclear power project. However, the scientists here at the Kudankulam nuclear power project say that they have taken enough safety measures for that because they have given a minimum elevation of 7.5 meters on top of which the building structure of the nuclear reactor is there. Nuclear reactor is further above that 7.5 meters. The government insists Kudankulam plant is safe. They say that the protests stem out of ignorance. Headlines today brings you this exclusive ground report from the Kudankulam nuclear power project and in fact I am standing very close to the two nuclear reactors that have been constructed here at the project site just few kilometers away from these two reactors as you can see there that is the Eritangarai village where more than 10,000 to 15,000 people are there and in fact the main contention they all fear that if some disaster is to strike here what will happen to them. Should a disaster strike, what are the safety measures in place? In Kudankulam nuclear power project site, there is a unique system, probably for the first time in the world they have installed this and this is, uh, this is that system. It is called as a passive heat removal system. The natural air keeps coming from here through these holes and it moves, if I can ask my camera person to show you that, it moves the above. It goes to that particular area, it goes inside the reactor through that area, it goes and it cools down the reactor. 